this Saturday I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and I decided that I'm gonna start making videos for you. I've been putting it off for way too long and it's time to get a start. So, here's my car. It's a 91 MX-3 on airbags with two engines in it. One in the front, one in the back. Two shifters, one for each tranny. Right there, sorry it's dirty, but it's still two seater. Um, all my gauges, we'll get to this uh, more in depth later. But I thought I'd start today. So I'm going to be putting in new glass, AKA Lexan on my car. I'm getting the car wrapped on Sunday, starting Sunday. And uh, I want it to be like as perfect as possible. I put a hatch on, a stock one, put a hole in it for my exhaust. Um, I did the quarter panels. These were garbage. These literally were like almost unsalvageable from so much damage. And this side was even worse. This was a huge, huge hunk missing. Here's my dog. Anyways, I'm gonna get a start on it. Um, got lots to do today. I've got to finish all the bodywork. Put the windshield in. I got a, like this was all rusted in here and up here. So I I wanted to have that fully fixed. So yeah, I took all the rust out, primed it, and then I'm gonna put like small skims of bondo where I need to. And yeah, so yeah, today, finish the car. It has to be done, ready to be wrapped, basically. So, and then tomorrow I have a sponsorship for getting the actual car detailed. So it's gonna get detailed. It's not gonna be dirty anymore. Has never been cleaned since like probably two years, to be completely honest on the inside. But yeah, it's gonna get fully detailed. And then I'm taking it to Dynamic Auto Style and they are wrapping my car at their expense which I cannot be more thankful for. He's a great guy. He's got a couple employees, does lots. But yeah, the car's very dirty. Like there's rubber everywhere just from driving it and drifting it. Yeah, anyways, I got lots of work to do. This is my dog, Zeddy. She's a very good little dog. And she's named after the engines that are in my car. Zeddy's, right Zeddy? Zeddy. Say hi. All right, I'm gonna mix up a little Bondo. Tiny, tiny bit. I don't do very much. I'm just skimming around in spots that aren't like completely smooth. I'm pretty picky. I'm not sure if that's the legit way to do things, like Bondo inside of the, the window, like rail spot. But I just do things my own way. I don't follow the book on how everybody else does their thing. If I did that, I wouldn't have the car I have. Anyways, it's how I work. So yeah, you just put a little bit of the hardener in, make sure it changes color fully. And then you're good. In this box, I have more Lexan. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna lay this out on that table and then put my existing windshield on top and use it as a template and trace all the way around, mark all the holes that need to be drilled and it should just fit right back in. Hey bud. Sweet, it's all cut up. So I, now I think I'm gonna clamp my existing windshield to the new one and then drill the holes so they're in the exact same spot. This, uh, this window did last a long time. It lasted two years and I've, that's looking bad right there. But anyways, it lasted two years. Seen well over 200K, it's seen 275K uh, before. So, and it never folded in or anything, but yeah, this, this windshield's probably about seven and a half pounds, if I remember correctly. I did weigh it 
back in the day. And it was like about a 30 pound drop just from doing this. And you can do this yourself to any car. All you need is rivets, some sort of saw, and uh, a little bit of skill, I guess. Um, yeah, the, this sheet costed me $300. So it's honestly not a bad way to lose some weight. And it looks kind of cool when it's on the car riveted on there, if you do it right. But, okay, I'll continue on. All the holes are drilled. I don't see why this wouldn't work. This is just my way of doing things. It's doing things the easiest way possible. If they don't line up perfectly when it's on the car, I can just re-put the drill bit in and it'll easily widen it to whatever it needs to be because the, the rivet is actually larger. Right side. Right. Okay, the Bondo's dry. I just put a small skim, like literally like not even a 64th. I'm just gonna sand it down just so it's a little bit smoother. So I like things to be proper. But yeah, I'm gonna sand that down and try the windshield, see how it fits. I woke up so early this morning, I couldn't go to the parts store and get rivets before I came. But oh well, I've got lots to do still. Much better. Sanded it and primed it. it. Just needs one more sand with the primer on top, and probably is good for paint. Then the windshield, blah 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 blah. Yeah, looking good. Looks way better. No rust anymore. Perfect. Now I'm back here, gonna sand the edges of the the new sheet so it's nice and smooth, and then. Get, and that'll be me giving time for the primer and other those bondo spots to dry. All right, so the piece of Lexan for the windshield is done. I sanded the edges so it's not sharp, very smooth all the way. Anyway, so the next step after I sand the car and get that ready and painted, is I'm gonna just take off this much of the actual protective layer and then install with the sealant so that it actually sticks to the windshield. And like the longer you leave this uh, protective layer on, the better, because if you're moving the windshield in and out all the time, you will scratch it because this stuff scratches really easy. So you wanna be really careful with that. But anyways, that's how I'm gonna do it. Everything is now perfectly smooth with Bondo. Just very small amounts everywhere, but it is perfectly smooth. Now I am going to prime it. I just throw a piece of tape underneath and then lay some primer on, let it dry, then sand that. And then I should be good to paint and then test fit the new piece of Lexan. Okay, I'm ready to test fit the windshield. I haven't sanded the primer yet, but it'll be a good starting point for me. The holes even line up, that's good. Yep, 
Okay, so I started pulling back some of the protective sheet so I can put the sealant on, but I'm gonna leave as much of the protective layer as I can. So after I install it, I can leave it on until I need to drive the car because there's still lots to do on it. I've got a detailing guy coming tomorrow and it needs to be trailered all the way to um, California. So this thing is not sitting well on my pad. <laughs> I don't have any tables because my shop is so small. Side bottom of the windshield, so I'm gonna put sealant onto the glass before I put it on, just so it's a little bit easier. I got her on, got the sealant in. Rivets are going in nicely. I was trying to record putting it in, but I freaking hit turn off rather than turn on. Anyways, learning experience. Cool, it's looking good. She's caulked down, riveted in, and then caulked over top. The last time I did this, I didn't caulk over top, so there was a slight gap in there, and it actually collected moisture, and the moisture would stay in there, and it started to rust. One of the reasons why I took out this, the old wax and windshield is because it rusted right here, because it was holding moisture. This way it won't, so now I'm going to pull a little bit of this protector off, tape it, tape here, and then paint this black so there's going to be a, a black trim all the way around to cover up that and apparently it looks pretty cool i looked online it looks awesome so Got it all taped up, so it's, a, it's an inch all the way around. Tried to do the best corner I could. Now it's time to spray it black. Out with the old, and with the new. But they're stretched, so they need bead blocks on. Finally, I have matching tire sizes. I'm 195 or 205, 50, 16s, front and back. And uh, another thing is back a year ago when I was rear engine only, I got eight mil taken off of my face of my wheel on two of them. Reason being is because I wanted a 225 or a 245 to fit in the rear. So I had that option. So like the wheel would actually sit in more, but now I'm putting the shaved ones on the front so the wheel sits in a bit more and this one pokes out a little bit more because now I don't have enough tire to fill the wheel well, as you can see. Like it's in, but yeah, I think it'll work out. I'm gonna air it out in a second and see how it looks.
I'm just listening for shit hitting the ground kind of thing. That's proper. I thought the rad would be on the ground, but it's not. If that's not feminine, I don't know what is. Now let's air at the back. Oh, this thing is so dirty. I can't wait till it gets detailed. Okay, where's my... Loud-ass vehicles driving by. Alright, we're down. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's got really good fitment on the front. Like, perfect. On the back, we got some gappage. Oh well. If I pop the rear bags again, or the airlines, I'm sure I'll be good for not rubbing the, the fender. Yeah, I can stick my hand in there. Oh well, it's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, the windshield's done, and it's all painted, ready to go. Just gonna leave that uh, film on there, make sure it stays safe. So as most of you guys know, I'm going to Hoonigan in the near future. And before I go, the car's getting wrapped. And it's been quite the pinch getting it done, but I'm pretty close. I've got to do some body work. I need to find lights. I need to find tail lights. Lots of little things, I have lots of sanding to do still. So the plan is, tomorrow, I am getting my car detailed by a person. I will let you know who it is tomorrow if they actually come. I'm sure he will, but he said he would do it for free as a sponsor, which is great. I really like to help, and I like helping other people too. So if anybody's open to sponsorships or anything working together, I'm in for that, so let me know. But yeah, tomorrow, it's getting detailed, and tomorrow it's also going to the wrap shop. And my sea is on my trailer. I got to take that off. I have to finish this car today. I don't have a sunroof in it. I've got lots to do. But the car's running good, so I don't have to worry about that. I drove it quite a bit. Maybe more than I should have, but later on, once it's um, wrapped and everything, I'll change all the fluids and run it again and make sure things are cool. But I'm not going to drive it. But yeah, we should be good to go. I've got lots of work to go. And I'll keep you posted, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. See ya.